Okay, hi, Dr. Bob Flower, and today is uh, Wednesday, um, October 30th, um, and this is your uh, missed pattern report. Uh, all right, so we're going to look at some, um, some upcoming dates. Uh, there's one coming up uh, this Friday for uh, the uh, uh, S&P. Uh, we're looking for, um, uh, for a um, significant move. Uh, significant today is, you know, over 100 points um, at least. Um, and uh, next week, uh, November 7th, we, uh, we are looking at a silver move. Uh, November 11th, we are uh, looking at a, a move in oil. And as you notice, oil has been dropping recently, and I think overall, long term, we're going to see oil prices dropping pretty, uh, pretty significantly. Now, that doesn't mean that they're not going to jump up, you know, to $105 or $108, depending on the disasters that are occurring in the Middle East. And you will see, by the way, um, some serious stuff coming up uh, in the Middle East uh, very soon, uh, within the next 90 days, and continuing on after that. Um, and so, so, you know, it could have an effect on oil. But uh, overall, longer term, um, no. Uh, uh, now, also, re remember we had said uh, this year that we, uh, we thought the market was going to uh, have some you know, rough times uh, up until around September or October. And, uh, and then after that, it would be good. And you're seeing, we're seeing market highs right now. Uh, um, so we, we think that that, uh, that was a good call. Uh, we're going to have some year-end type of stuff coming up, but uh, I don't think, um, I think this will continue for a, a while longer through, through the end of the year anyway, and, and then, um, then we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens uh, after that. We haven't really looked at, uh, uh, at anything beyond the end of this year. Um, uh, a word about metals and commodities. We, we think that the commodity prices are going to be, um, are going to get hot. Um, and, and we think that's going to start happening, uh, you know, before the end of the year, okay? Um, and uh, by that we mean, you know, an up move. Um, we see some problems for the dollar and the, the American economy that we don't have. Um, uh, that we that that uh, are, are not on the table right now, uh, but basically what's been happening is we are certainly losing our status as, as world leaders in, in in many areas, and um, if, you know when, when people don't have trust, uh, they lose confidence, and the only thing that keeps um, America as a world economic power is the faith and trust and confidence that people have in their government. And that is being um, decayed, uh, diminished, uh, disasterized, and every, any other term you could think of, real or imagined. Um, and, and I want to talk about that a little bit. Uh, you know, I, 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 my, my concept now is to talk about facts and try and stay away from politics as much as I can. But I, I think that what's going on right now um, uh, is, is disastrous to, to us as uh, American citizens and, um, uh, you know, lovers of capitalism and, um, and good quality of life. Uh, this, this whole Obamacare, I think, is an abortion. Uh, an abortion. I think it uh, uh, it was a very very bad uh, mistake, and I think it's going to hurt a lot of people. And I think people need to to look at alternative ways of doing this. One of the ways that we're suggesting is that people buy um, life insur whole life insurance policies on themselves and their kids, and use uh, uh, 
cut back on the premiums, take bare minimum premiums, if at all, um, on your health care plan. You have to do more like uh, you know, the alternative uh, health care plans with heavy deductibles and put, take most of the premiums and put them into life insurance, you know, where they're going to grow and gain. And then, uh, you know, in case of um, uh, need of funds, you can always borrow on those policies. But you're not spending the money uh, on insurance. You're investing the money, and then if you need it, you borrow on it. And for a, a disaster-type coverage, you, uh, you can have your alternative uh, policies uh, in place uh, to cover you uh, on those with, with the high deductibles, okay? Um, and if you need help on that, you go to our website, www.drbobflower.com, and uh, just give us your information, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll help you structure something that uh, uh, makes a lot of sense, all right? Um, keep an eye on Congress. I think you're going to see uh, a major shift in consciousness here. I think things have gotten so bad um, that, uh, that even they are uh, about to change their ways or there's a new, a new focus coming about, all right? So let's, let's keep, keep, a, keep abreast of that because that can be uh, a lasting salvation to a better economy and a, and a healthier environment for us as citizens, all right? Um, we're going to see you next week, and um, watch out for those, uh, those moves with the oil and, and S&P and, uh, uh, and, and uh, commodities, not gold and silver. Okay, have a good week.